Hey guys, it's Derek the Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft. We have a accuracy test of another gun. This one's the AGM Sten. Very anticipated for a very good reason. It's an awesome gun. Um, first things first, you can now comment about any of the videos I've ever made, not on YouTube, but on RDA's forum. Uh, so go ahead and click on the link in the video information. Go ahead and register on that form, and you can talk about any video I've ever made uh, underneath the videos form. And uh, it'll make more sense once you go there. But I hope to see you on the forum. It's overall a lot easier to use than YouTube, and I think you guys are going to be a lot happier there, because uh, I know I am. So uh, let's get started with the actual accuracy test. Again, AGM Sten. And uh, I won't be using the 7.4 volt LiPo it comes with. This gun comes with, it's very cool. It comes with a, let me dig it out of one of the millions of pockets. Cargo pants are awesome. Um, 7.4 volt LiPo battery. Uh, 1300 milliamps. Now, clear up some confusion. No, this doesn't do any damage on the gun. And no, 7.4 volt is not low. This will give you a little bit higher uh, performance than a 9.6 volt for a regular battery. So, very cool that it comes with this. However, it's not charged, and I right now don't have a charger for it. At the moment, at least. So, I will be using a standard 9.6 volt, 1100 milliamp battery. This will give roughly around the same uh, performance, a little bit less, not by much, almost not even noticeable. Uh, this one is, this is right after the Chrono, so this has only been used for the Chrono other than that it's fully charged. So I'd say it's somewhere around about 87% charged. Um, so let's get this accuracy test going. Pull out one of the MP40 magazines that it uses. See how accurate this gun is. Alright, so you guys zoomed in at the 50 foot test. I have changed to a can at 50 feet. Reason being, 50 feet is a really easy target practically. Anything can hit it. Uh, but let's see how effective it can be at 50 feet. Now, may I remind you, higher feet per second doesn't mean it's going to be more effective. Um, but it is a lot more fun to see people's reactions when you're shooting things a little bit stronger, have a little bit more impact. Uh, so, 0.2 gram BBs. And I have no rear sight since I'm using a 9.6 volt battery. But see what we can do. And this gun has no semi-automatic, it's just full, so no semi. So let's go full. And it is out of ammo. Alright, so here's what the can looks after 50, 50... After 50 rounds is what the can looks, and that looks pretty dang shredded. It's pretty impressive. So at 50 feet, this gun is a submachine gun meant to be used for CQB, and uh, I think it shows. Alright, so you guys zoomed in at the 100 foot test. So, just playing full auto, no semi-automatic, just like the real one, and uh, let's see what this gun can do. And we are out of ammo, so at 100 feet, it's actually surprisingly accurate. Um, I was not expecting it to be too accurate, I thought maybe at 100 feet it might miss quite a few times. Um, but basically any time that we did miss, it was me slightly moving my hand as I am using the gun without the stock, which makes it very, very hard to shoot because the stock basically is the grip. Um, 9.6 volt won't fit in the gun like a 7.4 volt will, so it's kind of hard to fire it. However, 100 feet, basically we did miss, and if that's a human sized target at 100 feet, you're going to hit it every single time. Alright, so you guys are zoomed in at the 150 foot target. This is really when you're going to start pushing the gun. Uh, let's load the 50 round magazine in. So, 150 feet. Let's see how accurate this stub submachine gun can really be. Already hit it. And we are out of ammo, but 
for a submachine gun that is actually pretty consistent. And if there was a human down there, you'd hit it every single time. Well, or at least almost every single time. So for a submachine gun, uh, AGM has definitely gotten the accuracy down. And the barrel is its decently long. Um, maybe a little bit shorter than G36C barrel. Or a little bit shorter than P90 barrel. Uh, but overall, it's a pretty dang short barrel. So to be able to hit that target uh, in the hop-up is actually pretty dang good. So to be able to hit the target at 150 feet at all is pretty surprising. All right, so you guys have zoomed all the way out right next to me. I'm going to be shooting the AGM Sten right over the gun. I'm going to be shooting right over that flower pot uh, into the tree so you guys can really see it. But right over the camera, uh, not really at anything, just plain shooting. Uh, so let's load up the magazine. And let's start shooting. And we are out of BBs. Alright, so in conclusion, the AGM Sten, I'm not going to lie, it's not the world's most accurate gun. It's definitely not one of the most accurate AGs you're going to find out on the market. However, uh, we have to group an SMG with other SMGs. And for an SMG, this is actually very dang accurate. This has great hop-up. Overall, this is a pretty accurate gun. Uh, my question is, really, would you really need accuracy if you're going to be using this in CQB? Probably not. Uh, but the accuracy is a nice feature. Uh, it's a nice thing you're going to want on your gun, whether you're going to use it or not. So that has been Red Dragon Airsoft's accuracy test of the AGM stem.